trying to stay conscious while everyone around you is unconscious is perhaps one of the most difficult things that I've ever been through. The thing that I'm thinking about specifically is work and the sort of beliefs that it's instilled in me and the sort of culture and the things that I've come to believe through working my job in hospitality. For five years now, I've been a waitress since I was 15 and I'm now 20 and I'm still there. Don't get me wrong, I've grown a lot as a person since I was 15 and, you know, my beliefs about myself have changed and I have much higher self-esteem than I used to, but still, somehow, I'm where I started. And every day, or every day that I go into work, I have to deal with being disrespected, having people talk down to me, having people snap at me for no reason, and staying conscious through all of that is so, so difficult. It's an exercise in patience and, I don't know, empathy, I guess. In the moment, though, it's just so hard to remember that People's actions are a reflection of their own reality. Very often it's not what you have done, but rather what how they perceive their daily life. Like if you go to work with someone who is always grumpy, always snapping at you, it's not unlikely that they have a very terrible life and they're taking it out on you in a way. It's easy for me to say that and to remember that, but it's another thing entirely for me to feel it and believe it in the moment and not feel hurt and upset when someone snaps at me or treats me like I'm stupid or talks down on me. I know in my heart that I'm so worthy of respect and of love and not to be spoken down to, but by the nature of my job, I suppose, very often people see me as below them. And I guess that's my own fault as well. You know, my actions in the past have led me to be where I am now. The fact that I didn't, you know, start a business when I was 15 or anything like that means that I am where I am today. But it doesn't mean that Things are always going to be that way. It doesn't mean that I have to stay that way. In fact, I've found that a lot of my beliefs have changed for the better. And more and more now I'm starting to think during work. Like I just get this repeating thought in my head that I'm... <laughs> don't take this the wrong way. I, I still have humility and I still value hard work. But I very often get the thought like I... I'm better than this job, you know, and that's not to say I don't work hard and I don't try and I don't do what's expected of me, but I know in my heart that I'm meant for more than this. I know that my life is going to be better than this, and that is a consolation to me through the awful times where I have to scrub the toilets and I have to do awful gross jobs like cleaning people's food after them and it's not a pleasant job by any means. It's difficult and it's degrading and it's disgusting and I know that I am above it, that my future is better than this, and that I'm worth more than this job. I don't know, it's sort of hard to put into words. And I feel, I feel, I look at my, my superiors in this job and I feel bad for them. I feel bad for them because I live in a student town. All of my managers, more or less, had completed their degree in the same town and then stayed on at the job that they were already at and chosen to become a manager. And you can tell that somewhere along the way, they sort of gave up. They sort of stopped believing that they were capable of anything above managing people. What is managing people? It means nothing. You tell someone to go somewhere and do something and 
maybe it's a very stressful, very difficult job, but in terms of value, in terms of meaning and impact on the world, it matters very little. And you can tell that the managers that lead you aren't fulfilled because they react so emotionally. They spend insane hours working at a restaurant and you can cope and say, I love food, I love getting to serve people great food, that's what attracted me to hospitality. But at the end of the day, you're submitting yourself to degradation, to being the person at the other end of the sort of table, as in you choose to be the person serving instead of the person experiencing. Like, if you if you love food, shouldn't your goal be to enjoy it and to experience as much of it as possible and learn about it, not to degrade yourself for it, not to spend 60, 70 hour weeks at a job that exhausts you, that leaves you so irritable. Like, these people don't seem happy at all. They seem like they've given up. And I'm very glad that even though I'm five years into hospitality, I haven't given up yet. Nor do I think I ever will. But yeah, God bless and goodbye.